Another thing that's interesting I found out about Berlin or something I've experienced over the last couple of times I've been there and it's something that's very unique to that city because it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily happen here in London. I don't really feel it. Maybe because I'm, again, I have a, my perspective on it isn't the most, um, what you call it, detached because obviously I lived here and shit. But for the most part, I find it very interesting when you go out in Berlin, especially big techno clubs, especially just in the scene in general, there is a lot of frostiness or a little bit of static that exists between fellow black people that live in Berlin, like fellow people in the scene, fellow people kind of making their way around, right? Creatives, artists, DJs, scene people, whatever it may be. There's always a bit of static. I don't know why it is. And I think um, maybe a lot of it has to do with like that kind of idea of like, you know, you want to be the cool quirk, you want to be the cool quirky black kid in your little scene. So when somebody else comes along that's also equally as cool and quirky as you are, you kind of feel a bit uncomfortable, right? Like as if they're going to come and take your spot because you fought so hard to have it. So that could be one thing. Or it could just be the sense of just like, I don't know, black people in general, we're not the most, how would I say? When it comes to us, when it comes to our own people, we're not the most kind of gregarious and open armed. Nowadays we are because this whole like, you know, this fake kind of, um, no, it's not fake, but there is this kind of over, um, of emphasis but there is this kind of concentrated effort that exists now at the moment where people are trying to promote people within their own communities right especially black people they're trying to kind of lift up people that are doing good things but for the most part it is pretty difficult to get people from your own community to give you props on certain things you're doing sometimes you have to kind of go out from outside your community in order to kind of get the respect you want from your own community it happens in all different kind of you know gender so it happens in all different cultures colors and creeds i'm sure it does but for some reason it does happen a lot in the black culture because anyway a anyone can attest to this anyone who's been to a caribbean or african nigerian Ghanaian restaurant you know and you don't know the people you know how they get you know how you get treated i mean it's not the same when a white person walks in right they lay down the fucking white carpet i mean hello oh my god you know what i mean they want to give them the whole experience it's the man but you go in there and ask some ask auntie for a particular hairstyle or a particular meal you know what i mean you have to fight some battles you have to go there a few times to get her respect you know what i mean and even then she might not even smile at you it might just be like okay to whatever so well, it is what it is but I did notice that. I did notice a real weird static that exists between other black people that you kind of bump into, especially when I went to Bergheim. I noticed a bit when I was in Palomas. I noticed a bit when I went to, um, what is it, what I went to? Oh, I went to Roses for a bit. I kind of bumped into a couple of people there. I noticed that a tiny bit when I was in the same heads. But for the most part, it definitely was a thing I noticed in Bergheim, for sure. I don't know why it was, man. Like, you just saw a bit of static. Like, and again, I'm I'm a quite friendly dude, as you can, you know, from my personality on the podcast. I'm quite an outgoing guy. I would say I'm an, you know, extrovert, introvert. Like, I like to go places on my own, right? I traveled to Berlin for basically five days or for however long that was and basically spent a lot of the time on my own when I wasn't in clubs. So I like spending time on my own, but also like to, you know, meet new people, share new experiences, you know, a couple of key, couple of key bumps in the toilets. I'm all game for all that sort of stuff, right? But... I did notice that, you know, whenever you did bump into somebody who looked like you, it always felt a bit weird. It always felt a bit static. And again, I'm a friendly guy, but if you give me static and you give me the cold shoulder, I'll give you, you know, I'm from ends and it is what it is. I'm not going to lick your ass. So I'll give you the cold shoulder too, which is a shame because I want to get to know you. You look cool. You look interesting. You're obviously in this place. So that obviously means that you're got a cool and interesting, you know, taste palette, whatever it may be, right? You're into cool and interesting things. We could probably be friends, right? It's, there is a lot of kind of missed opportunities there, right? A lot of kind of misconnections, right? Remember that shit back in Craig, was it Craigslist days or country? I forgot when I was, whatever it may be. There are some misconnections there in that, res that respect, but also a part of me, maybe it's the mat matured part of me because uh, when I was younger, that might have been like, you know, fuck them all. But the mature part of me would say, I understand the frostiness and the kind of static that exists because if you and if you kind of look at the scene or the city that they're in and the battles that you have to fight if you are somebody that is non-white in that sort of city i'd imagine especially kind of navigating within the dancing music scene over there it must be difficult you know i'm not saying it's any more difficult than any other place in the world but i would imagine trying to make it in entertainment over there in any kind of 
way is not the easiest there's probably not enough spaces for people in general overall forget your color gender sexuality and creed whatnot there's probably just not enough opportunities for people then there's of course there's gatekeeping involved and there's all this kind of weird politicking involved then there's people just bad man bad mining people i mean there's loads of shit involved so i can understand when people can get a bit protective and a little bit more tense when they see somebody else coming who maybe could be a threat to their position i kind of get it and if you worked really hard to kind of get any kind of footfall any kind of foothold the last thing you want to do is, is have someone like me come along with my ha ha he he and you know try and slip in there and try and be that guy which obviously i'm not trying to be that guy because i think I do kind of pride myself on knowing how to play my position in places. I kind of pride myself on being a really good house party guest in terms of like, I know when to leave, right? Cause that's always kind of a skill in parties, knowing when, especially when it comes to house parties, there is a time when it kind of approaches a weird time and you think you can stay for an afters, but really what they want is you to leave so they can kind of relax and enjoy their own home. So you have to know when to leave and be a good guest. So, you know, good guest, bring a drink good guests also know when to leave in the right time but i'm also kind of proud of myself in the idea that when i'm in a conversation with people and i'm in a space with people i do i don't always even though i can have a tendency to do so i try to make sure i keep myself in check when it comes to like not allowing my personality to take over the room you know i mean i let other people breathe because that's one thing you know i've kind of known that i've kind of done in other times in my life where i've kind of tried to overtake the room and be too overpowering until they can kind of suffocate people so it's good to kind of let other people shine because if they let other people shine it also makes a room much more fun and other people have more fun too apart it's like the kind of idea of like you know what i said about the guy in the house party after palomas he may he killed the entire sort of like afters because he didn't want to let go control of the flipping you know youtube right and the music that i was playing he just went to play his stuff and show us his his mixes that he was into and whatnot he didn't want to let anybody else play anything you think he let a girl play one tune and of course she's a girl so he went to kind of probably fuck her that's probably why he let her actually touch the laptop but apart from that he was kind of you know really really hands-on with it and obviously that killed the entire mood of it and that's kind of the tiny things you kind of grow up with and you figure out when you're in life blah 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 but anyway yeah I, I noticed that i don't know if it's something that again maybe i'm projecting so again if you're in berlin and you're black let me know in the comments um is that a thing do you feel a little bit static with people that you bump into especially for the first time i guess it's different when you bump into them many times i think most of the time if you if i you know from even in london it's the same sort of thing there is sometimes a bit of static but if you see someone two or three times you give them a, a couple head nods you might say safe what's up i mean you'll get to know each other sooner rather than later but it did feel weirdly tenser than i've ever felt in any kind of scene when i went to berlin so again if you're there and you live there let me know in the comments is that thing there why is that um is it just because there's you know crabs in the barrel sort of mentality that exists over in berlin is it a kind of consequence of the competitive nature of the scene overall um is it just the way you guys are built over there it's just a different vibe you're not just you know ha he he as much as we are over here in london i don't know let me know in the comments down below i'd be so 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 curious to find out what you guys think and what your position is on that one i really would